Hey guys, welcome back. I am Joey Moss, and we got some fun today. As you know, Guilds of Ravnica is upon us, but we got theme booster packs. Uh, yeah, this came out also with Dominaria. They did this whole theme. Let's see if they did things differently with these theme booster packs with Guilds of Ravnica. I'm going to be giving away this Night of Autumn along with this Soul of the Accord. Both of these, one person will win. In order to be eligible, all you got to do is hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell button next to the subscribe button. And I need you to share this video somewhere on social media as well. Comment below. What is your favorite card in Guilds of Ravnica? That's it. Do those things and you are up in the mix to win. And I will announce that winner within one week's time. Also, I had to. I just had to. I had to get one more Golgari. I saw it sitting on the shelf. I'm like, fine, let's do it. These were $7.49 each. I don't think local game stores have them available, but I was able to go to the local Walmart and pick them up. So there you have it. Let's find out what's inside one of these Guilds of Ravnica. Theme booster packs. Oh, look at that. That is quaint. Nothing inside. Different. That's pretty cool. The Zealous Army of Ravnica. Boros. Cracking up this sucker. Looks like we got some Guilds of Ravnica codes here. Unlock three boosters. Use the code PLAYRAVNICA. Wow, that is simple. Now you know. Unlock three boosters on Joey Moss right there, just for you. Bada bing. Let's see what we got here. Up inside of one of these theme packs. The cards feel really nice and smooth, I'll tell you that. Eh, maybe it has something to do with me washing my hands just recently. I'm not too sure. Uh, pretty cool. So here we got some uncommons demotion up in here. I guess these could be fun if you just quickly wanted to throw a deck together, although they don't come in any lands, I don't believe. Um, but looks like there's a fair variety of cards here. Here's some guild mages. That's cool. We got one. Boros Challenger. Two uh, of the better Boro, um, yeah, Boros cards there. Also with the Sky Knight, the Dropper, Face Recruit. Pretty cool artwork on that. True Fire Captain. Nice, nice. So it looks like they give you a, a pretty good mix up here. How many rares are we going to get in the end? We got Tajik, Legion's, <coughs> Legion's Edge, followed by more of these. Play Ravnica. I guess that goes for anyone that signs up. Play Ravnica. So get an MTG Arena. Also, make sure you check out my deck techs. I'll be doing another deck tech for tomorrow. It's going to be a really big one. Uh, really powerful deck uh, that you can play in standard right now. So that was our first pack. That was Boros. Let's see what we get up inside our Is It here. Is it worth purchasing? I mean, that's really the question. So far, I've seen one rare. We opened one rare inside of our first pack. For $7.49, I would have to say at this point, it is not worth purchasing, uh, just from that standpoint. What I believe they should have done was include two rares. They're trying to make up for it by throwing a lot of uncommons in here. Which I guess is not the worst idea, but I just don't think that this is, um, for an investment standpoint, uh, heck no. Um, I do not recommend people go out and purchase these for that reason. But if you're looking just to have some fun and uh, pick up a theme pack, I don't see why not. Uh, Piston Fist. Piston Fist. That just sounds weird. Rolls off the tongue kind of funny, huh? Sonic Assault. There's a Guild Mage with the Reed Dragonauts. Beam Splitter Mage. What's going to be our rare is the question here. Cool artwork on this set. Really, really it is. Sure Strike. Ionize is our rare in this one. All right. So, I mean, off to a good start. I'd have to say those are two pretty solid pools. Nothing too crazy. Let's open up one of these Golgaris real quick. Of course, you guys know why I did this. In hopes that we pull the Assassin's Trophy. Can we pull the Assassin's Trophy? That'd be pretty neat. That would kind of make it worth it to me, but you're not guaranteed an Assassin's Trophy in a theme booster pack, I can tell you that. Let's see what we got here. So we got the Gorgon. All right, Guildgate. The Old Painter. Let's count the uncommons. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, awesome. Eleven, twelve, 
13. 14. Boom! Hits him with the Golgari Queen Vraska. No way. Was that 14 on commons? And then we hit a mythic. Wow. That is pretty nifty. That is pretty neat. That is awesome. Wow. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm loving it, baby. I'm loving that. Did not think I was going to pull that, honestly. I mean, I can't. I, honestly, I think I kind of forgot it was even in here. So there's that. <laughs> we are on to our, what's this, the third one? Our third kit. What are we going to get? A security tab. Don't steal. Bad shit will happen to you. Go to prison. Meet some guy named Bubba, and he makes love to that booty. You don't want none of that love booty, all right? Yeah, if it's your thing, that's cool, too. Something I don't want, though. I mean, PLA. You know, that's on the, uh, the giving end. You giggity, giggity, All right, keeping it going, keeping it going. Cool artwork on that. I'll say it again. Um, I noticed a lot of uh, YouTubers actually enjoyed that artwork, and I'm one of them. That, uh, yeah, for sure. Watcher in the Mist. Looks like skeleton bones. Uh, but it's supposed to be a ghost. Where are the uncommons? Are we getting to any uncommons? These are all commons. Okay, there we go. So that was kind of weird how they did that. So we got the Guild Mage. Let's just count them here. One, two, cool card. Three, four, two Guild Mages. Five, all right, whoops, whoops, whoops. Six, seven, seven in this one. That was different. Thief of Sanity, pretty neat little card there. Whenever Thief of Sanity deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library. Exile one of them face down and put the rest into the graveyard. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it. And you may spend mana as though we're mana of any type to cast that spell. Really neat card, honestly. All right, so that's what we got out of there. Less uncommons in that uh, theme booster pack than what was in the other ones, which is kind of shocking, to say the least, I'd say. I don't know. That was kind of different. Because the first one had, like, what, 14 uncommons? And that last one had, like, 8 or 9? I don't know. What do you guys think of that? It's kind of weird. Celestia. I like that name. It's fun. So we got the Loxodon Restorer. I'm just pumped we pulled uh, a, uh, a Mythic out of one of these. It's pretty neat. And also, just so you're aware, you can buy entire booster boxes of these. I, I saw them on eBay for $99.99. .99. You get 10 of these. I just didn't find that worth it. Walmart, I mean, they're selling them for seven forty-nine each. You do the math on that, seven times ten. You know, with tax, you're looking at about eighty to eighty-two dollars, roughly. That's a lot less than the ninety-nine on eBay. They're asking, so. Oh, very interesting though. But if you're going to go that crazy route, don't forget to check out my eBay. It's in the link of every description. You can save money on uh, anything you purchase on eBay and Amazon and all that stuff, uh, for sure. Urban Utopia with the luminous bonds. World Soul Colossus. All right. What we got here? We got the Flower Flourish. The Flourishing Flower. Sure. Join Shields. Sliding cards. Why are you guys sliding? Maybe this house is crooked. I don't know. Uh, the Wood Shaper. Shield Mate. Guild Mage. And the Cavalier. With the Loxodon. We got the Loxodon at the end there. I think this card's a little underrated, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to go up in value a whole lot, but I'm really curious to see what the outcome is of all the uh, the tournaments, what, what top eights are in standard right now. Uh, I'm pretty excited to be following that. And uh, I'm, I'll probably do a deck tech from one of those top eights. If you guys are into deck techs, definitely check out my deck techs. i got quite a few. There's a playlist on my main page, so make sure you check it out. Last pack, one more Zolgari. Can we get the Assassin's Trophy? I mean, if we did, that's an Assassin's Trophy and uh, a Planeswalker in one of these, which I think I think is quite crazy. Um, and well, in this opening at least. Oh, we got the Battle Guild Pact up in here with the Gates, couple Gates, the Wound. Did we get the same exact cards? I did not take a look at that. Did we get the same cards? That is a question from the first one we opened. We're going to slow roll this last guy. If we hit it, that's crazy. If not, oh well, what are you going to do? 
We got another one of these Orcon Assassins, really cool. Still gotta build a deck around that. The Monument, Lurcher, Dead Weight, and here we go. We're getting down to it right here. What we got, what we got? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's all right. We have fun. Find and Finality is the rare we're going out on there. And don't forget, MTG Arena, play Ravnica. Three free booster packs. Pretty cool indeed. Anyone can get those. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember, hit the like button. Got to share. Comment below your favorite card from Ravnica. Make sure the bell is tapped. And, uh, yeah, there you go, man. Be subscribed. As always, PLA.